Red Flash women's basketball team coming off their first NEC loss of the season, taking on Northeast Conference preseason favorite Long Island at DeGaulle Arena on Saturday. It started off fairly even as both teams traded baskets early on in the first half, but Long Island really started lighting it up in the first half, and they put up a 13-point lead at halftime, 41-28. They shot 68% from the floor. It's almost as if the Long Island Blackbirds couldn't miss, and they would push that lead to as many as 17 points in the second half. Well, there was no quit in the Red Flash, even though the lead seemed insurmountable. They started to chip away, and they did it by attacking the hoop. Brittany Lilly gets fouled. Three-point play. A few plays later, Allie Wood goes to the hoop. Foul. Three-point play. And then we'll see Sarah Thorne attacking the hoop. 4-2. Well, Long Island adjusted to that strategy, and that's when the Red Flash started kicking it out. Allie Daly doing her thing, dropping the three from the left wing. Sarah Thorne drops the three from the right side of the court. And then Kia Gibbs with 10 minutes left in regulation. Three-point play, and the Red Flash, with 10 minutes to go, led 53-52. to St. Francis tacking on to win the game by a score of 69 to 56. A 30 point swing in the second half for the Red Flash and that put them on top a 41 to 15 run in the final 20 minutes. Well, comparatively speaking then, Monday night's game against the visiting St. Francis College Terriers, a much easier affair for the Red Flash. They put together a strong 40 minutes of basketball. The three-point shots were falling, and the Flash allowed the Terriers to take the lead just twice, and never after the 16-minute mark of the first half. Freshman Allie Williams had her first career double-double, and St. Francis won the battle of the boards, 38 rebounds to 22 won the contest 72 to 60 to move into a tie for first place in the Northeast Conference.